Good evening, this is Mrs. Bailey with an update regarding the incident on November 11th. We will continue to communicate the facts with our Western families through School Messenger and not through the media. As you are aware, we are working closely with the Michigan State Police as this is a criminal, and I have to stress, criminal investigation. There are a few details we would like to share. You all should know that at no point was it reported that a gun was shot in the school. The initial call was a report from a teacher that she was struck by a small object that seemed to come from within the wall. Administration immediately reported to the classroom to evaluate the situation. The sound reported to administration was a hissing sound, not a loud boom as reported in the media. Being that this classroom is near the robotics room and the maintenance garage, mechanical type sounds are not unusual. Initially, it was believed to possibly be a pipe burst or some problem within the wall. The school resource officer, along with other administrators, were called to help evaluate the situation. At no time did we believe or have any inclination that a firearm had been discharged. The building was put into secure mode to eliminate movement from classrooms as administration took on different roles reviewing cameras, working with custodians, talking with teachers and students, all while communicating with one another and the school resource officer. When it was determined that the school police resource officer had discharged his firearm unintentionally while alone in a classroom, authorities were called and the investigation began. It was not until later Friday that interviews were completed and we were given the okay by the Michigan State Police to communicate with our families. Administrators called every family of the students that were in the classroom where the bullet entered and also sent out a school messenger to all families in the Western Complex. We want to thank everyone once again for your patience in this process. This is a terrible situation and we are grateful that no staff or students were seriously injured. We continue to make students' safety our top priority. Please call us if you'd like to discuss this further. Thank you and have a wonderful evening.